Are you looking for a subscription box to help you get out of your comfort zone when you do your scrapbooking or any of your paper crafts? Um, are you looking for something different inspirational-wise? Well, Grabby might be the box for you, and I have it right here. This is July's box. If you remember, this is the box I featured in the Easter Golden Egg Box collaboration, and I honestly have been getting it every month since, and I've absolutely loved it. It's come with a bunch of vintage items that have completely pushed me out of my comfort zone with the journaling, and I've used a lot of them, and I'm so excited to put this on the channel and share this one with you guys today. So if you want to see what's in July's grabby monthly subscription box, then please Stay tuned. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie. If you're new here, I unbox subscription boxes and more. Today is definitely the and more because I, as you know, I am getting into creative journaling, junk journaling, scrapbooking, paper crafts, whatever you'd like to call it, and Grabby is a fantastic subscription for that. So it is in the 40s with with uh, shipping per month i have to look it's between 45 and 50 dollars i believe it kind of seems like it changes every month and that might just be it definitely seems to ship from out of the u.s so it ships internationally which is really good for a lot of my viewers if you're interested i'll have all that price information down below but i haven't even peeked i'm so excited you can see a non-broken seal uh we're gonna get into this because I want to use these products. <laughs> I have definitely been using a lot of what I'm getting. You'll probably, you've seen lots of stuff from Gravy. If you're curious as to what I use, please go to my journaling Instagram, paper dragonfly underscore journaling. I'll have that link down below as well. And I will, in every post, I have a list of supplies and what company they all came from where applicable and where I can remember because uh, you know <laughs> patterns wow do you guys know why I'm gonna love this box so much this month this one looks absolutely amazing now they do have full spoilers or you can be totally surprised ah uh, okay Eureka right uh, this just looks amazing vintage archive roots notes on Morino I don't think yeah, I'm guessing a tie-in. Oh, I forgot this was in here. This I believe is a botanical sticker book. All kind of vintage looking vintage style. Sort of. Oh, there's some fall leaves, you guys. I've been working on some fall spreads and gathering my fall materials. I do want to verify with you guys on camera here that this is indeed a sticker book. Because they, there's tons of things out there. Sometimes you have to cut them out. Oh, wow. They have tons of brands. Look. Wait, is this all botanical? <gasps> it's not, you guys. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Where was this when I was doing all my spreads this summer? I mean, I've got tons of butterflies. You guys know that. Look, look at the vintage. These are definitely vintage. I've actually used that image before. I have a, a bigger version of that in a recent spread that you guys have seen. All right, so I'm going to have to cut out the individual sticker and then the whole sheet would peel off. So obviously you can cut out what you want and then peel it off the back like that. Uh, so that's a little bit of a pain. That's one thing I've learned with journaling. I spent my last Timu haul especially focusing on easier to use stickers, easier to cut, <laughs> but this is okay because, you know, I love the themes, so I definitely have plenty of butterflies, mushrooms, botanical features, this is all, the good part about mushrooms is even though I think most of them do grow in the summer, they can kind of be used in forest spreads year round, I'd like to say. And there are some colorful leaves in here for fall. And I think most people do use butterflies year round because they're just so popular and so beautiful, right? So sneak peek, we'll go to the washi tape next. This has, I can't, ooh, this looks like, oh, hey, 
I'm all for that arrow. <laughs> it's showing where it starts. This looks like it's a cherry blossom or some type of pinkish purple flower. I'm not going to take the plastic off, but it is gorgeous because it's all started. They, they don't really, they usually only have about one roll of washi tape. That's one thing I would have to say. And it's not usually very thick, you know, very much of it. But this still takes a long time. It lasts you many spreads. Uh, or, oh, yes, 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 yes. So I had those scissors from, oh, what is that called? Uh, from Paper Gang from one of those boxes. But these, now I'm official. Well, these are probably crazy shiny in the camera. These are for definite fussy cutting. Probably kind of come in handy around those scissors. I mean, sorry, those, those stickers and that mushroom sticker book and butterflies and botanical. Go me, there's a plastic thing at the tip, which is oh so important. I, I've been using tweezers. I don't even wanna, yeah, that's extremely sharp. Um, this is really good for fussy cutting though. So this will really get in there and make you, it's, the blades are so short, so the idea is it'll make really tiny cuts and it'll allow you to kind of weave in and around like some of those. I'll probably just do a blanket cloud around them because I just don't want to journal like that where it, <laughs> I have to get so technical with cutting, but that's incredible. Oh boy, here's the ultimate challenge. I gotta get the tip back on the scissors, but safety first, right? All right, now some people, this is a, uh, jute ribbon roll of it and some people do use other materials in their journals and more hence the junk variety i haven't gotten into that yet because i have all these pretty pretty things that i like to use but eventually maybe i will use the jute ribbon for something so i like again this is the whole example of out of my comfort zone but look at this little pretty box brown paper package tied up in string Oh, definitely my favorite things. Oh, I'm liking the cover. Did you guys see this? This cover alone I might cut out and use. That's the thing about vintage journaling. You can use anything. And we always get a sticker from Gravy. Uh, that's up there. I'll probably uh, save that. I've got a special project. I'm going to be spending a long time collecting items for, but I have a really cool idea. I might not, you might not even see that till next year. <laughs> So what is this? Does it label it before I take everything out? Deco assets. So I think we'll just we'll just see. Oh boy. Glad I got a table. Oh boy. This is what <laughs> oh my. I'm gonna regret this. Uh this is gonna be a thousand piece now. <laughs> Hundred piece pickup? I don't know. Does it say how many pieces are in here? Let's see. It's probably it says it in Japanese or Chinese. Um it does not, but it looks like a lot. So this looks like a variety of sizes. I can of of stickers, I suppose. Oh look, there's bees, there's butterflies. Oh, I can't wait for Gravy to do a fall and winter themed box. I definitely am in desperate need of more fall and winter items. I want to be doing nature scenes with snow and beautiful leaves and you know. Oh, we do have some fall items. I spoke too soon. Look, it's a little chipmunk. Oh, he's so cute. Got a little nut. I'll have to save this out so I can use it in my fall. Oh my goodness. See, this is like when, when you go through this. I mean, I think this is a mixture of stickers. Oh, I see an owl. I see an owl. You guys. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm also going to have lots of owls. They're great for the fall, as you know. I am collecting them. But I think this is a mix that also has some background pages. You know, here's a little palm tree type thing and it's got some room if you want to do some real journaling and actually write in it. And I'll be showing some of that in the upcoming months too, which is super exciting. So this is basically just a real mix and I actually got some really good storage containers for stickers like these because these do bend easily and the odds of me getting all these back into that box, at least the box is big. Uh, but sometimes those plastic ones are poof. But just showing you some examples. There's just birds and, you know, the birds and the bees and all the insects and everything else that's falling. I wanted to get to this bird. This looks like some type of seabird. What is this? Maybe an albatross? 
I think, I don't know, but it's on a log. It's very strange. I don't know, sometimes I've noticed <laughs> I put too much of an ecological look and, and like, you know, magnifying glass and the companies might not necessarily even know. Like, for example, I might get a pack of dragonfly stickers and I'll find damselflies in them. And I'm fine with that. I love damselflies. They're particularly beautiful. Google a jewel wing damselfly you'll know what I mean. They come in like metallic green and blue wings and stunning creatures. And we have them here in Maryland. But it's just funny to me because it comes in a, they're a completely different species from dragonflies. They're in the same order. You know, they're close. But this is just random bunches of sizes of papers. And uh, I have some organizational tips that I've been hearing from the pros. You know, some people say organize it by size of paper, but here's that. This actually has lines. Yes, I saw that sticker fall. I'll get it. Ooh, this looks like some, mm, I don't know what type of birds those are. Maybe some tropical birds. They're fun. And then we'll like randomly, oh, a snowy owl. We've got snowy owls. I was going to say I thought it was going to be some type of ticket or, you know, but it's got a vintage style to it too, which is really nice. This is like an exciting pack, you guys. Lots of birds, lots of birds, uh, which you guys know I love. I need to do more birds. I need to put more birds into my journals. <gasps> Great blue heron, my mom's favorite bird, and it's and it's on our uh, Maryland state quarter. Great blue heron. Mm, I. This is exciting. This is very exciting. Now these I will have to glue down. Some of you have asked about supplies. I like the glue tape. It makes a fun sound, first of all, and you just roll it over, just like a one of those old wipeout, uh, wipeout, whiteout machines. Um, I love that stuff, but you do have to be careful with it. It is get, it is a bit of a challenge. People use glue sticks as well. I started with that. I found that wasn't quite as strong. Uh, you know, and if you're gluing anything beyond paper, you might even need a glue gun. There's Mod Podge. There's plenty of materials out there. You just kind of have to look and find what works best for you. I would recommend what works best for your setup so you're not always making a mess. We have a random page of print. This is what I love. It's just random vintage style papers. And this is what I love about Gravy. It is kind of random and I love it. Random, but at the same time with a theme. But wait, there's more. There is so much more. And yes, I did get all that back into the box. I'm saving those two out for a special spread that I was working on today. You guys will see it probably actually before you see this video because I am pre-recording. This is labeled paper, so it's just going to be about, I shouldn't minimize it by saying just. Here they go surprising me with different sizes again. This is going to be wonderful, useful background paper. I First I thought I didn't have enough background paper. I definitely have enough floral background paper, that's for sure. And I love the music notes. I have tons of ideas for music spreads. I just, oh, that has an old, a vintage piano. Oh my goodness, I love that page. Now see, that's so pretty, I wouldn't even want to cover that up. I'm having that problem. It's a great problem to have for your background paper. <gasps> wow, so this is actually something you could put some of these in journals and then actually do some writing and keep your lines. Oh my gosh, you guys, I would love to be able to show you all of these. Oh, we got a blue morpho, tons of butterflies and music. This speaks to my heart. You guys know that I'm a huge music fan, huge butterfly fan. I'm even getting into flowers. Thank you to subscriptions of scrapbooking and paper crafts. These are stunning. It even looks like a letter, doesn't it? These are just some examples. I mean, these are wow. And don't worry, there's, I don't, I didn't even look if there's more than one. No, there's not. So I don't, there could be duplicates. Sometimes that's nice because then you, if you have a really favorite one, you can use it a couple times. Ooh, look how pretty that is. I mean, I could go on. I'll try not to show you every single piece. We'd be here all day. But this is my first look at this too. So, you know, the first time I'm touching everything and seeing everything with my own eyes is always the best. And that was just one side, you guys. There's this, this bag. 
still want to send like a vellum bag too. Some people would keep the packaging. I might actually try to experiment. That's not quite vellum vellum, like see-through vellum, but maybe I could do something with it. I could see, haha, <laughs> <laughs> see if it's see-through. So we've got some smaller squares of florals, just different sizes. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh my gosh. You guys don't mind florals and butterflies all year round, do you, in my spreads? Um, that's just my, that might just be what's going to happen here because, yeah, look at all this. I mean, it's July and as soon as August 1st fits, I feel everyone's literally going to be thinking fall. I need to find more quotes, papers <laughs> to my Valentine. Well, not so much a quote like that, but I need to find something... I mean, I even used something similar to this the other day and I spread you guys haven't seen yet, but you probably will by the time this video goes up. So I should just uh, hush, but look at that. All those papers. Yes. So we just keep going and going here. I was just talking about the glue type roller. This is a mini version of what I use. Actually, I've gone through my second one already. I bought a six pack on Amazon and now uh, this is called glue tape, but this is a smaller version. I'm gonna have a hard time holding this, but you just kind of push it down on the paper and spread it across and it attaches it. It's magic and wonderful. And you guys, this whole pack is full of stickers here. I'm not, I'm not gonna open everything up because we are, I don't wanna make this video super, super long. Whoa, these, now see, I love how these just, these actually just come. Look at these beautiful pink florals. And we got some vintage looking clocks and, oh, look, a butterfly wreath. That's a good idea. Now these probably the whole thing is sticker, so I would cut out what I want, hence the fussy cutting scissors and unattach. It, it still sticks, but it's kind of more like what they call like a pet tape or a, a washi even sticker, I think. Beginning to learn the lingo. Oh my goodness. Are these fruits? I think these are strawberry stickers. Hope this isn't too reflective because this is cool. <gasps> Can't wait to see what's next. It's going to take way too long to take all these out of the packaging. Dragonflies. We have dragonflies. Wow, I, I have some already, as you know, you guys have seen some. See, this is what I'm talking about right here, where the where you can't see the four wings. That's because when they're perched, I think I've said this in other videos, the damselflies, their wings are folded up, so it looks like there's two wings. Dragonflies, when they're perched, they have all four wings out. That's the biggest way to tell the difference when they're perched. So there are damselflies in here too. It looks like it's a whole bunch of different colors. Loving it, loving it, loving it. You're gonna, of course, see them in my spreads. <laughs> it's like I don't even have to worry about taking, oh, these are beautiful. I don't have to worry about taking pictures because you're, you're gonna see them. <laughs> you're going to see these. Gold foil bird stickers, you guys, with music notes, gold foil music notes. I've been, look I have been getting some more gold foiling on, on Timu and looking for it in craft areas, craft stores, because this is just online craft stores. <gasps> Look at the little chickadees. These are probably uh, Caroline chickadees, but so cute. Oh, there's another chickadee up there. Is this whole page chickadees? No, I don't, I don't, I don't know what kind these are. They're not chickadees, but oh, so cute. Oh my goodness. My grandmother had a special place in her heart for chickadees and I am very much my grandmother's granddaughter. Hmm, I wish she, oh, I wish she was still here. Oh, wow. We've got so many birds here. I believe this is a tufted titmouse. We might have a blue, no, this is barn swallow? I'm not sure. I, I shouldn't try. Uh, wow. Okay, sorry, I am going to have a lot of fun with those. I need to do a bird spread hasn't become official yet, my goodness. Now what's this? In the back of it, it says the Manor Album. Ooh, that's pretty. What's, oh, talk about gold foiling. Oof. I think these are frames. I'm trying, I think. Oh, I did that one framed theme. 
um, spread with all the butterflies and I literally framed the page of butterfly washi. That was so much fun. Now these, I think, uh, something else in there too, but anyway, we have more to go through you guys, but I just wanted to show how amazing all these are. One thing I love about Grabby, another wife obviously love Grabby, but um, they always have a handy dandy carrying storage pouch for each month. I find I can fit most of the things, <laughs> ooh, we have more paper, in the pouch, you know, sans like the, the tools, the washi, jute tape, big, big sticker books. Actually, I think that's the biggest sticker book we've ever gotten in a Grabby. I am definitely, definitely happy with the value for the price on this one. This is fantastic. And the team prices on crafting, they're, they're still good, but I will say I think it's going up a little bit. So Grabby might become a better deal than it already is. Um, looks like we have some white, ooh, sorry. Really got too excited and bumped the camera there. It looks like some white die, die cuts in here. Botanical, lacy, I'm not gonna try to take those out. I don't have a die cut machine. I don't really want to get into die cutting that is yet, but those look pretty. Definitely will save these for, it looks like there might be, it's hard to tell. Uh, but basically you can put it through a machine and use it on any background paper you want. Recently been watching some videos and uh, you, whoa. Oh my goodness, look at this beautiful back paper. I mean, this looks, this is almost like wrapping paper. Whoa, talk about, hmm. Sorry, did I blind you all? This is, I, that might blind me to use that. Wow. These are stunning. I don't even know how to use, I, I do need help if you, if you guys, ooh, this is more of a vellum. We've got a random vellum sheet in the mix here. But if anybody has any tips on what to do with busy backgrounds, I definitely need some help because I have a lot. As you can see, the patterns make it tough, I think. Uh, you definitely, some of these I definitely don't want to cut, some I would, but this, how do you cut that? I mean, what do you, and then what do you do? Do I just, do I put things around it? You, you know what I'm saying? It's, look at these, these, oh, this is vellum too. It's gorgeous. This is also something I wouldn't be able to cut. I, I just couldn't bring myself to do it. It looks like some barn swallows, but then there's a cage. And this, it's got vintage things in the background. Like a ledger of some sort. This is just, oh, look at the foxes. And wolves, fox and wolves, okay. A wolf over here, this lone wolf. <laughs> and I like the random gold foiling on these. Ooh, a bunny rabbit. Actually, that might be more of a hair. Yeah, hair, <laughs> right there. Uh, <gasps> we have a lunar moth page, yeah. Oh my gosh, that might be, that's my favorite. And it's a foiled Luna Moth. Dream come true. And then we have, oh, Przewalski's horse. Or it's, it, it's close, close cousin, because it's not saying that at the top, but look up horse evolution. It's fascinating. These horses are, oh, woodpeckers. This is some of the evolution of a horse right here. And, and, and this is, involved in it. I, I, <laughs> speechless. Oh, this will be nice for Christmas and winter. This is a really good winter scene. So yeah, this is really, really great, you guys. And I could totally keep going through these. It looks like we have some of the same designs, but now off of vellum, which is obviously completely fine with me. Look at the owl. Looks like a great horned owl. That is gorgeous. I'm going, <laughs> it says it right up there. I swear I didn't see that. Curse of Great Horned Owl. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, this is my favorite Grabby box yet. They all, they've all had botanical and nature themes, or not themes, but elements to them, but this literally is the whole box. It's botanical, nature, florals, you know, minus what, the juke? <laughs> I mean, this is stunning. So this is my July gravy box. Thank you guys as I oohed and odd for hanging out with me as I unboxed everything in here. Wow, I can't wait to use this. And 
If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up. It helps me and it helps my channel. And until next time, I'll catch you later. Bye. Oh, and be sure to tell me what your favorite item is. I don't even think I can pick a favorite item. I mean, it would be between all these papers I just oohed and awed over, the, the gold foil birds, the sticker book. Oh, all of it, all of it, all of it. Uh, I really don't have a favorite. Um, this is all my favorite, so. Anyway, thank you guys. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Talk to you later. Bye.